What's up guys, it's John. Uh, so the last time we left off with this bottle, it looks something like this. Um, I might have moved things around a little bit. Uh, but if you press 1 on the bottle, since we're in smooth view right now, which is number 3, if you go to 1, it's going to look all nasty, and this is what it's actually going to look like. So to fix that, you just click on the bottle, you can go to normals, and then soften edge, and it'll be smooth. So yeah, it smooths out pretty good. Looks a little weird in here, actually. Um, but it looks fine, we're just gonna say it looks fine. All right, so now that we have it smoothed out, we need to, uh, we need to create a UV map. And what that does is it creates a map for your texture and the texture we're going to be using is somewhere in here let me show you all right we're going to be using this aquafina label and then uh, it's going to be semi-transparent and then the rest of the bottle is going to be transparent obviously not completely transparent so it still looks like plastic but you know what I mean. So to UV map this, um, we're going to do the bottom separate because it's weird. But pretty much I'm going to highlight um, from the top to right there. Oops. On the other side, it's going to be all messed up. Yep. Okay, wait a second. I'll just do this again. All right. And I'll unselect this and then just click around the edge, I guess. You could also press space to check your other views. These ones are orthographic, so I could have just gone into one of these and did it easier. But we'll stay in this other view. Um, we're not going to be able to. Actually, this this up here and the bottom doesn't actually matter, but we're still going to have it separate. And I'm actually going to actually going to go into orthographic, and I'm going to separate this just so we have the part with the label and. Then we're going to go into create UVs, we're going to do cylindrical mapping, and then you can uh, go into window, rendering editors, not rendering editors, um, UV texture editor, alright, then you can see your texture right here. Not your texture, your map. And then we can just leave it like that for now. And now we need to do the top. So to see what we've already done, go to UV shell. That's our one shell. This is another shell. And this is another shell. So this doesn't have a shell. We're going to do this part next. So create UVs, cylindrical mapping. Seems like it would work well on this. All right, so we have our map for that, as you can see right here. Map, 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 map. OK, and then the top. It's not what I wanted. 
Um, got my face mud. I'm gonna do uh, cylindrical mapping. Usually you would want to separate this part because that's not going to be seen by the cylindrical map. Um, but since it's just going to be transparent all the way around besides the label, it doesn't matter. And then where's our UV shell? Okay, so we're going to get this part. And we're going to do, I don't know. Um, see what automatic mapping does? No thanks, no thanks, no thanks. So we're going to do cylindrical mapping. And then we'll do one more because this is going to look really stupid if we just leave it like this. All right. So we'll just grab these. And uh, this in the middle. Let me get my, I'm gonna move this over to my other monitor. I'm going to go into my toolkit, uh, use my drag tool, and just select this while holding shift. Alright, go back to pick slash marquee. And for this, we'll do create UVs and planar mapping in the Y axis. So it'll just get the bottom right there. And then in here, we're going to just select the object, polygons, layout, and then uh, unfold, interesting unfold. What is this? Shell. Oh, it's the bottom, that makes sense. But we're not going to worry about it because uh, it's just going to be transparent. But usually you would definitely want to fix this because this looks really bad. And then just size everything up to where you think is good. Here's the part where the label's gonna go. Where's this part? Oh, it's the top. Oh, okay, that could be really small. You don't really need to do all this. The only thing that really matters here is this because this is going to have the label and everything else is going to be transparent. But I'm going to show you guys how to make a clean layout anyways. Besides this, this is really, really nasty. But I'm not going to fix it because that'll take a while. All right, that should be fine. just want everything inside of this little square. And then you're going to go into object mode, click it, polygons, UV snapshot. Um, you can change the side size, we'll do 1025. Okay. Um, put this somewhere, I'll just put it on the desktop. Stop. 
right. Um, bottle map. We'll call it. Save and then OK. You can minimize this. Go into Photoshop. And then drag in the bottle map. And then get your Aquafina. Kind of line it up. Um, That looks pretty good. Just make it a little oversized, just to make sure. All right. And then you just turn this off. Everything else will be a kind of whitish color and it'll be really transparent. I'll make it kind of off-white like that. All right, put this underneath. Put the opacity on this way down. Like. Six percent, that should be good. And then ninety-eight looks good on the Aquafina label. Then you can just save this as a PNG on the desktop. Give it a different name. Go back into Maya. You can close the UV texture editor. Go into Hypershade. Oh, Window, Rendering Editors, Hypershade. All right, and then we're gonna use a. We're gonna use a blend. Then you go into Attribute Editor color, file, then search for the image. <laughs> it's upside down. <laughs> uh, all right, so Oh, uh, we can fix that in Maya. So window, uh, window UV texture editor. Click on this. Show. We can also line up this little part right here. Where is it? Right here. We can line that up. So zoom in here. Oops, not what I wanted. Meant to do this. All right. Okay. So we need to rotate this a little. All right. So I was watching my video back and I realized that I wasn't even showing me fixing the texture on Maya. But basically, I went into UV Texture Editor and rotated the uh, UV shell for the label. And that was it. I just rotated it till it fit. You can move it around, resize it and stuff. Uh, pretty simple stuff, so I hope you guys can understand that. I don't want to re-record the whole thing. Um, yeah, just 
go into UV texture editor, rotate the label around the label, the part with the label, and you'll be good. And uh, sorry about that. Just like uh, do it until it looks good. <laughs> 